Hey Colby, Peter Drew, how are you? Good, how are you doing Peter? Good mate, so can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Awesome. Mate, I've just got to say, this is why I love the internet. Here I am um, creating a forum about something I'm really interested in, posting articles on Pinterest and over Twitter and I get to meet fascinating people like you. Yeah, your own pin forum, correct? Yes. Yeah, uh, I've actually been uh, seeing a, a good bit of traffic from there. I was going to uh, post something last night, but there was a little problem with the uh, auto-connect from Facebook, so I wasn't able to. Oh, oh I wasn't aware of that. I'll, I'll, I'll get my guys to look into that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I, was, before, I thought the forum would be a good place to, to create like a central hub for everything related to Pinterest, and um, it's getting a bit of attention, so that's cool. Yeah, it's definitely, you got a great URL, um, shows up great with the search results, so you've got a good thing going there. Actually, I only checked it last night, I checked uh, Pinterest forums, I haven't done any SEO work on that, and it's listed number 8 already, so that's very cool, and that's just all from social links, you know, Twitter and Pinterest, pretty much. So that's pretty cool. Have you done any work to your title tags or meta or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah just the title tags, yeah. That's Oh, okay. The, then you, you should be default. fine. I think as it keeps up, you know, there it'll move up the rankings. So. Oh, absolutely. Look, I, I own BruteForceSEO.com, so I'll, I have no problems getting it higher. But I haven't even started. I've just been focusing on the content at this point in time. So. Yeah. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about is this awesome article that I that you sent to me via Twitter, which is what women want: six lessons for Pinterest from 100k visitors. First of all, yeah. I want to say, I le- you know, I've been studying Pinterest. It's been in my awareness now for probably five or six weeks. And um, look, I've been making money on the internet since 1995. Yeah. And I got, t- I love this article. Honestly, it was so oh, much, you. such a quality article. I love the way you write and I love the content. It was really nice. So I'm really happy to be talking to you now and sharing all this stuff from your article with all of our listeners. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I've been writing basically my entire life. Uh, got oh, my degree right. In, yeah, I got my degree in journalism. Uh, I'll, I'll I, I, I've read all the Pinterest articles, and I've read everything that the marketers have been saying. And it's all, you know, they, they just regurgitate all the information and all the content. And you hear the same thing over and over again. And being an SEO guy and, and somebody who's been doing viral marketing for 10 years now, I feel like mm-hmm. that I can give that a, a different viewpoint of what it, what Pinterest means at this point and how you can better take advantage of it than what everybody else is spelling it out at this point. So that's what I've been going for. Absolutely. And look, you did a great job because as you can see, I'm trying to fill up that um, pinforums.com forum with articles. So every morning... I go to Google Plus and refresh my refresh my search for Pinterest. I go to uh, Twitter and refresh my search for Pinterest. That's where I get all my content from. And there's you know there's tons and any any of the good stuff I already post up there. So I'm pretty I've been doing that for the last I don't know two or three weeks. So I'm pretty much up on what people are saying about. But this is the first real like um, content information how to article. Um, and it, it's awesome. Um, so, can, can can you give us an overview of, of the article? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm the same way you were. Um, my girlfriend started a small boutique site about uh, two months ago, and it was mm-hmm. getting you know ten to thirty visitors a day organically, uh, basically mm-hmm. through Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And my girlfriend came to me and said, "Have you thought about doing Pinterest?" So we just sat, we sat beside each other on the couch and started pinning stuff. And, awesome. uh, and, and being in the tech mindset that I was, I immediately so I take created... It, sorry, I'll tell you you're on your iPhone at this time, at this point in time. You're both sitting there on your iPhones? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm on my computer at this point. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, so, yeah, uh, we just started pinning and looking through it and then the next day my girlfriend comes in and says what did you do today and I said I created 20 Pinterest accounts <laughs> <laughs> and, and awesome. so um, 
Uh, I've been doing everything from submitting it. I've submitted every hour of the day here on the East Coast time to see what's the best time to submit, what gets the most repins. And uh, until about a week ago, um, that's when Pinterest changed their algorithm, their popularity algorithm. So it was a big yeah, change yeah, in that, yeah. a big change of method. Um, and so right now I've, I'm pinging their servers about 30 times every you know, 10 minutes or so. I've got an automatic program into that. I'm researching when they're most trafficked, like worldwide, um, trying to figure out when is the exact best time to submit because now with the, the new popularity algorithm, you only have one chance to submit. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I can't say I really agree with it. I know where they're coming from, trying to combat the spam. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you go on the Fiverr, have you ever been to Fiverr.com? Sorry, which one? It's just five rr.com. Oh yeah, sorry, five. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, there's just uh, so many people. You know, uh, I'll I'll pin this two hundred times for five dollars, and gotcha. I mean, yeah. it, every social network I've ever been a part of has come up with improvements to algorithms to combat spam. So mm -hmm. Pinterest did it per user account, and luckily they haven't done it. You know, by the IP yet, so. If yep. you have multiple user accounts, you're able to get around that at this point. But yep. I can yep. see in the future needing, you know, 20 or 30 proxies to actually get yep. some content to take off. Yep. Um, yep. But the way that I do my viral marketing is I don't pay for repins. I don't pay for upvotes. I don't pay for likes on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I create mm -hmm. content that deserves to be shared. And if it doesn't deserve to be shared, and if it doesn't take off immediately, then I get back mm -hmm. to the drawing boards. I, I think you have to look, you have to earn your respect on the social networks, and you have to mm -hmm. earn the people that are going to reply to you, that are going to retweet you, and, and especially in terms of SEO, I've been doing natural link building now for about eight years. Uh, mm -hmm. You earn mm -hmm. those natural links through creative content, and so I, I, I agree completely with the, what they're doing. But it's making life a little bit easier because, like I said in the article, I like uh, the, the biggest indicator or the biggest. Uh, plus you have just submitting a pin to Pinterest is the title. Um, that's the first thing that people are going to look at. They're going to look at the graphics and the title. And so I, I've always been one to, to test titles before I submit anything. But they kind of eliminated that possibility. So having other accounts that I can test a title with helps. What do you mean by, by editing your title and see if it gets more interest that way? Is that what you mean uh, by correct. Right. Yeah, correct. And Use Reddit for as a, Reddit's a good indicator if your title will work or not right now. So okay, I, I do. Oh, awesome! I haven't heard of that. That's very early. Yeah. Um, and so, you said to your girlfriend, "Yep, I've made twenty accounts." So you made twenty accounts across different niches. I take it. Um, uh, yeah. And. Actually, I've had a lot of success in creating novelty accounts on Pinterest. Have you ever heard of those? No. Uh, novelty accounts, they started off on Reddit with, uh, well, the first novelty account was uh, Carmenon, which was a guy that was basically pouring himself out for karma. And then from that came, uh, I hate to be uh, <laughs> not safe for work right now, but there was a mm -hmm. uh, novelty account called Relevant Rule 34. Where right. relevant rule 34 stands for if it exists, there's a porn for it, and so the guy would just <laughs> the guy would just go into the, to uh, Reddit forums and Reddit account yeah. or Reddit comments, and uh, and somebody would go like, oh, there's a it's like a del or an elephant and a donkey, and relevant rule 34 would go, here's an elephant funky a donkey. <laughs> oh no way! And so uh, the the guy. Uh, gained almost 500,000 comment karma within a year mm -hmm. and became wow. one of the most famous people on Reddit. And they're called novelty accounts because they just, uh, it, they evoke, they, they stay true to what their username is. So I, I, I asked myself, will novelty accounts work on Pinterest? And of course, awesome. it's 97% female, so yep. Yep. It, it has to be safe for work. It can't be crude or anything like that. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, like one of my most successful one was my best guy friend. Um, so when women go shopping or they're looking for new fashion and they want to 
a, a, a Mel's opinion, what's the yep. first, who's the first person they call? Their best guy. Right. Awesome. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, I just got on and I didn't submit anything from the user account. I just went on to the fashion boards, the popular, the boards, and I gave them an honest opinion of that dress looks slutty. Or <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't let you wear that dress out in public. And from that, I was able to garner about 150 followers within a week just based off the novelty account. So I'm heading that nice. route to uh, better establish, you know, you know, have other accounts with more followers. But uh, it, you have to be kind of creative on that. And I think in the next month or so that you'll see a lot more novelty accounts on Pinterest as people start to pick up on that. But it, it's something that I, I figured out initially and that people really haven't. I, I'm not going to blog about it right yet, but yep. Uh, yep. give me a couple of weeks and I'll definitely come up with something for that. Sweet. Sounds good. But what I love about Pinterest, it seems like it, it, it's just all about quality. It, the quality rises to the top and all you get exposed to in Pinterest is this quality information about whatever different topic that there may be. It's What I love is the algorithm is working really nicely that you only get to see what's really popular and, and what's hot. And, and the quality that comes, I, I mainly use it on my iPhone. And even yeah. if I'm not interested in a specific topic, what the information that's presented to me is really high quality, awesome stuff. It's just uh, it's just a network of awesomeness, really. <laughs> I really like this site. I haven't been so excited uh, about something for a long time. I know I sound like the, a girl, but but I I'm really excited about it. And the analytics um, from, like I said, I, I've I've sent 150,000 visitors to my girlfriend's site. Mm -hmm. um, Hold on a second, my girlfriend's Skype. Um, I've spent I've seen 150,000 visitors. I've done that through. Uh, did you read about the click and trick? <laughs> I came. No. Uh, I don't think uh, so. so. It was, so uh, and for and people trick, listening, I just just for people listening, if you go to colbyalman.com, you can see the graphs where he's laid out all the graphs from his analytics. Just image captured the analytics and presented them in the article. It's really good to see. Sorry, go on. Oh uh, yeah, so um, the click and trick is um, your your CTR, your click through rate is yep. basically you want people from Pinterest to click through to your site. Absolutely. Uh, the way the way I've gone about this is uh, in Photoshop I use new, very neutral colors that uh, basically my girlfriend picks out. <laughs> A yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. pink, a lot of baby blues, a lot of yellow, yeah. a lot of purple, and I make it mm -hmm. very visual appealing. However, when I upload it, I make sure that the uh, the image is large enough that they can see the outline, they can see the title of the infographic. However, yeah. it's so small that they can't read the actual text. So. Oh, in, now in order, I see why people do that. Yeah, and, and so in order. For, and I've for done them, it tons of times. Yeah, so in order for them to read the actual uh, content, they You've have to, go to, to the site. get out of Pinterest through. and click through to your site and get out of there. Awesome. Yeah, like, and so yeah, um, um, I, I know that works because I've done it tons of times. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so um, yesterday I submitted a uh, to test my theory that the click and trick actually works. I submitted an infographic called "The World's Best Sweet Tea." If you Americans love tea with a ton of sugar in it, and yeah, so yeah. Um, it had over 1,800 repins. However, I only got 100 click-throughs to it, as opposed mm -hmm. to uh, some of the other infographics I put up that are too small to read that have mm -hmm. 1,000 repins, yet 2,000 visitors come from from uh, Pinterest to the site. So. So, uh, so say two two thousand clicks from uh, one thousand repins. Yeah. Um, wow. Nice. It, Where previously, it worked. yeah, yeah. Sorry. And, and so and, and so, what makes Pinterest visitors different than your other social network visitors is when you look at your analytics from visitors from Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Dig, uh, whatever it may be, the average attention span is they they spend ten to twelve seconds on your site. 
After mm -hmm. 150,000 visitors to my girlfriend's site, they've spent an average of 2 minutes and 12 seconds on the site. That's astounding. Nice. That is that's that is awesome. That's that's I, I've never seen anything like that in my life. So, mm. um, having visitors from Pinterest are worth, uh, according to me, a thousand times more than visitors from any other site. Look, look, look I'll agree with you. It goes back to what I was saying before. They've produced this product that's just based on quality, so their yeah. audience is, it's, you know, is a quality audience. You know. And you, you don't get that anywhere else. You don't get it any anything like Pinterest. It's it's amazing, and it's amazing what Pinterest itself is. A lot of people refer to it as a photo sharing site, but really it's not. I think its um, grounding yeah. was like a typical um, social bookmarking site, like any. But they, their their USP was like um, having a thumb a big pretty thumbnail, and it's grown from that into into what it is now. Which is, you know, people are obviously photo sharing and stuff, but it's basically um, a social bookmarking site, on, you know, on steroids, I suppose, or on quality. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, mm. it, it Flickr is a photo sharing site. Uh, people are going to Flickr to see pretty pictures. Yes. Pinterest is, I like to call it an idea forum. Um, it's where you go to garner ideas, whether it be for your wedding, your fashion, your humor, uh, whatever it may be. It's, it's just a, mm -hmm. a nice forum that unlike Reddit or Dig or the other social networks, you have a pretty picture there in front of you that mm -hmm. entices you to click on the content. Mm -hmm. So I, I completely agree with you on that point. Yeah, yeah. It's fascinating and I'm, I'm amazed. Uh, like you, you are obviously on top of this thing 100%, and I am, and a lot of other people are. But a lot of people just really don't get how big this is and how how it's changing the face of the internet. Like, just I had to update my blog to be Pinterest compatible, and every time I do a blog post now, you know, I have to spend money to get a really cool graphic done for that blog post because if I don't, I'm just waste, wasting traffic. You know, it won't get repinned yeah. unless it's an awesome graphic to suit, and so it's. And anyone who wants traffic to their site will have to make the same adjustments I've made to their blog. So this one site, Pinterest, is really going to change the look and feel of the internet. And it's actually forcing people to add quality to their content, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I think that we're seeing a uh, revolution in blogging right here to where mm -hmm. uh, Blogging is usually about pets. It's about 300 to 500 words, and that's it. And that's all it's been for the past, you know, 15 years. But now, if you want to, if you want to hit that social network that's marketed to 95 to 97 percent women, you have to have a visual component to that. And it's absolutely amazing. It amazes me how much is changing. The Look, look, absolutely. Like, um, but first of all, we had blogging, and then as information grew on the internet, that we were getting compounded with more and more information. We couldn't read three or four hundred word articles. There's not enough time in the day. And Twitter evolves into microblogging, so we can accept more more information from more many places at once in a smaller, easier to read format. And what I'll put to you is that Pinterest is the next extension of that. Different, though you know. Let's say there's a thousand words for every picture. Well, it's easier for our brains to consume information in the pictorial form. And um, I, I got that understanding where I've written some software where, at one stage, it was liking um, uh, a lot of pins randomly, and I've, I forgot to turn it off. And my personal account had um, 1,700 likes on it, generated purely randomly from software on my personal account. And so I was going through it, and I thought, whoops, you know, what have I done here? But my software, my software um, randomly chose 1,700 pins. I'm going through it on my iPhone, and all of it was awesome. <laughs> there was only a couple that didn't look spectacular. So yeah. the, the amount of quality in Pinterest is astounding. But what I noticed is I'm scrolling through 1,700 um, little images on my iPhone, and I'm consuming all of that. The amount of information I consumed going through that process was astounding. 
and so I'm really getting that um, it's kind of the next extension of Twitter and that you can get more information from pictures than just words. It's easier for our yeah. brains to handle. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it exactly does. And um, I, I, I guess here's another, I haven't done a blog post on this yet, but you have to go into the human psychology in order to stand out from all yep. of that information. You want to be that one pin that stands out from everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I hope you don't mind me going into this right quick, but um, oh, no. the color yeah. spectrum, what's, what's the longest wavelength on the color spectrum? I don't know. That is red. Red is the most visible color on the spectrum. That is wow. why my stop signs are red. That is why the stop light is red. Uh, oh, it has right. the longest wavelength. It's the lowest frequency, and that is the most, your eyes subcon subconsciously drawn to red more than anything else. So wow, in, this okay. plethora, in this plethora of thousands of Pinterest uh, pictures and uh, postings and pins, I always make sure that one element of my posting is red, because whether they like it or not, the human brain automatically perceives the red before any other color on the spectrum. Uh, the blue and purple is being the fastest in frequency and the, the shortest wavelength. Uh, they'll be uh -huh. noticed less. However, if it's red, it, it stands out and the users are automatically drawn to that. So uh, to anyone looking to make custom, you know, uh, graphics for their pins or anything like that, I would highly suggest having something in red in there. And I've always done that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, well, I'm looking at your blog page now, and the first thing that pops out is the follow me on Pinterest button, because it's there yeah. in red. So, yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now, I wish I could show you my heat map to the side. Uh, I basically oh, okay. track every every mouse position and where the mouse goes on my site, and uh, to that red button is the first place I go nearly always. Well, well, I'm thinking that we're going to have to continue on this conversation ag again in another couple of weeks so we can share what we've learned in the last couple of weeks and share that with people. Yeah. And maybe then you can show me, have um, that heat map up on your blog and we can share that with everyone. That would be very cool. Yeah, that's definitely something that I've been, uh, been wanting to put up for a while um, just to show users how the color red can increase your repin and stuff like that. I've done a lot of testing on different colors, especially through painting and what works the best. Oh, excellent. Now, there's one question I've got about your article that I didn't understand. Um, you were saying something about other using the people use other people's stuff and eventually you'll get caught out um, yeah. and some people don't give credit. What I don't understand is how you do that. Are you referring to repinning other people's content? or And, and I don't understand how you give credit. Like, for example, do you mean I really pin your stuff and then in the comments say I pinned it from Colby? Is that what you mean? I uh, just, no, I, I'm talking about uh, bloggers stealing content from other blogs and repinning oh, that. For their, uh, yeah, oh, for so, so that'd be like me going to your site, ripping your stuff, putting it on my site. Yeah, correct. And, and, I, I, and I don't agree with that at all. And so and I'm, 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 the, yeah, I'm, I'm giving two thumbs down to that and eventually somebody will catch on to you and call you Absolutely. out on that, and it could in the long so, run affect your, sure. you know. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you meant of, of with doing that within the Pinterest system itself. So, no, okay, I've got that clear. Yeah. No, my, my ideals is create content that's new, create content that's never been done before, make it interesting, mm -hmm. make it pretty, and it'll go a lot longer ways than anything else on somebody else's side. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did you read that article on my blog about um, Pinterest and Instagram? No, I haven't yet. Um, you can give me a rundown of it. Well, I, mean, I suppose I came across uh, Instagram and um, Pinterest at the same time. Uh, Insta Instagram, do you have Instagram on your phone? Uh, no, I don't. I usually stick to one social network at a time when I'm studying, and so I haven't had a time to play around with that. Just a quick rundown on Instagram in that there's uh, around 6,000 camera apps on iTunes. Instagram yeah. is by, by far the most popular and it's I think it's already got past 10 million users. That was about a month ago, so it might be 12 or 15 now. It's very, very popular. And 
what's good about it, it turns average people like me into awesome photographers. I take photos yeah. of my daughter, and honestly, they are awesome. <laughs> so, so obviously, any any app that can turn someone into a great photographer by supplying really awesome filters, and combining it in a social network space where you can share your stuff with family and friends socially, yeah, it's awesome. What I really like about Instagram is their API is really open source. So they share everything. And a really good example of that, of people using the API, is uh, Black Eyed Peas. At their, one of their last concerts, they told everyone in the audience to take photos with Instagram and use a hashtag. So it uses hashtags like you know Twitter and Google+, Plus, etc., etc., and Pinterest, which a lot of people don't understand hashtags in Pinterest. But So use the hashtag, I can't remember what it was, Black Eyed Peas or whatever, and they had huge multimedia screens throughout the concert. So people are um, taking photos with their iPhones using the hashtag, and it's popping up throughout the, throughout the concert. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is, man. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely know what you mean through that have um have you ever heard of okay go uh the group from the united states that produces all of our videos they don't have a record label they don't have a producer or anything like that no uh, so what okay go did was they dropped their entire label but they make viral videos and that's all they make for their music videos and they do a very similar thing i was at a concert uh, last year, the word they put the uh, RFID tags on the screens and said, take mm -hmm. a picture of this. And so you just took a picture of that and it tagged you at the concert. And uh, uh, if you were tagged at the concert, you can go to the booth later and buy one of their CDs for like $3 or something ridiculous like that. And so oh, awesome. I, I think, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a huge world and, you know, picture taking. But it, it can also be a catch-22, and I can uh, explain to you how that would work on this. It, 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 um, and so, um, yes, it's awesome that they have an open API and that anyone can repin your stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, say you take a, uh, you're in Australia, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, say you take a picture of the world's largest crocodile. And mm -hmm. you put it on your personal Pinterest account, and I mean that's your content that you took the picture, and then everyone yep. starts repin it. Do you get any of the credit for that? Um, no. If they, re uh, if, if they repin it, it's got my information that I submit as the um, in, in the uh, message area. That that's repinned, isn't it? Oh, okay. It, you know, what I'm getting at have you, have you heard of nine gag? Is that yes? No, only until your article. <laughs> only, okay. only, I, I read that um, article on your blog. I haven't heard of it till okay. then, but yeah. Nine Gags is a social network with around sixty to seventy million users, and um, I'll, I'll give you an example. I made a viral infographic about three weeks ago that just took off. I'm talking one hundred twenty-five thousand visitors in forty-eight hours, wow. and they uploaded it to Nine Gag, and. Uh, and so Nine Gag has my infographic up on the site. However, they cropped out my name, my girlfriend's site's name, and oh, took all the wow. credit. And so wow. uh, about two hours a day, like once or twice a day, I'll, I'll go onto the popular boards of Pinterest, click through, and see my infographic right there linking back to Nine Gag without any credit to the source at all. Wow. And so... What I do is I just make a polite comment saying that the original source is here. Do you mind changing your link to that? Ninety yep. percent of the time that they will. But I mean, there is yep. an, a danger that open source and social sharing, and especially sites like that, putting a pennant button next to the content and taking all the credit for it. I mean, I you mean yeah. I, yeah, it, it got uh, fifty-five thousand likes on Nine Gag. I, I'm guessing around one hundred fifty thousand people saw it on Nine Gag alone. They got mm -hmm. all that ad revenue to their site. They got all that link juice. They got everything from it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for me, the guy that spent eight hours in Photoshop creating it got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, like we were talking about earlier, I disagree with, you know, sourcing the right, the content creator. I agree with giving the content or giving the 
the credit where credit is due. And I've actually created a uh, ho picture hosting site uh, that does that. And so you know, I'm all for it. It, it. Think of me like the the music industry. I'm anti-piracy against pictures. Um, I, yes. I've spent my life creating content, and I just hate to see yeah. people ripping it off and getting the credit for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I suppose for for a professional person with photography, for me, um, as complete amateur photography using uh, the Instagram app, um, it's it's a different world. I'm just happy for more people to see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking for credit as a social user, you know. Um, to see my yeah, images uh, at a concert, or, for example, would be awesome. But yeah, it's actually funny you mentioned Imgur. I'm actually Imgur's largest competitor right now. Big pun? Uh, I, you said Imgur, the image hosting site? No, no, no. Sorry, I, I meant Instagram. Like while Instagram. Oh, using okay. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, okay. Uh, well, one one thing that really caught my attention in Instagram was um, there was always these two girls who were in the favorite section of Instagram, like like, like Pinterest. It's got one favorite section. There's cream rods to the yeah. top, and so I checked out their account, and um, they're a business called. Sabo Skirt, it's a S A B O Skirt dot com, and yeah, and they had um at the time fifty thousand followers on Instagram. I thought, wow, this is this is awesome. You look at their photos; they're really good quality photos of of skirt of different uh, female apparel, and they always had around two to three thousand likes. And so I kept following them, and um, they were growing at seven thousand followers a week. And their their website is exposed um, in your in their profile, so I would put to you they're running their entire um, fashion business from Instagram, which is awesome. These two young women who look like they're in their early twenties, creating um, physical content in terms of clothing, <laughs> taking photos of it on Instagram. People are really digging it, and they've got uh, a massive following. I think they're um, up over eighty thousand followers now. And the more followers they get, the more it just grows exponentially, of course. So uh, yeah. a lot of parallels between um, Instagram and Pinterest. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a subconscious effect. If you see a Twitter account with 100,000 followers, what's the first thing you're going to do? Mm, you're going to follow Absolutely. It. Yep. Yeah. And, and so, interestingly, uh, those, those girls, their, their content would be awesome on Pinterest. Though I've searched for them a couple of times, and they're not on there which um, amazes me. Maybe they're doing what you do, focus on one social network at a time. Well, you only have time to focus on one. That's, that's the point. Mm. Uh, just give it all you got. And um, if you're like me, I'm trying to make an impact in the, uh, the Pinterest marketing world and giving people insights that they've never seen before. Yep, and you certainly did that today, my friend. So how about we get together another couple of weeks and... Um, continue on this conversation and we'll leave it there because people's time is important and we can't take up their whole day raving on about stuff and we'll get back together in another couple of weeks huh? Alright that sounds great Sounds great and so that's Colby Alman C-O-L-B-Y A-L-M-O-N-D dot com Thanks Colby, talk soon mate Alright thanks Peter Thanks mate, bye <laughs>